In this video, we will learn how we can reset Windows 10 password with Hiran Boot CD. As you see in here, I am not able to log in on my Windows PC and it's up showing the password is incorrect. So you can easily reset this one with the Hiran Boot CD. So just navigate to the, just open your browser and navigate to the HiranBootCD.org. Actually Hiran Boot CD have the lots of collections of tools where you can explore uh, many things like uh, your resetting password and resetting BIOS password. Many options are there that you can reset with the higher on board CD. And it's, a, it's a, just a collection of lots of uh, freeware tools and open source tools that you can use in one CD. Means if you have higher on board CD, you are easily able to do lots of job. And just click on the download. And if you want to read out the, all the uh, tools that are available, you are easily able to find it here. As you see in here, like Norton removal tool, lots of tools are there. And if you want to uh, view the CD contents, so click on the C, CD contents and you are easily able to explore all the tools that are available in the higher and board CD. Even you can reset the BIOS password. Lots of tools are there. You, I think you must be try all the all the tools. Just explore all the tools. And to download this one, just click on the bootcd.zip. Actually, I already downloaded, so I'm just going to be cancel this one. And after that, what you required, just unzip this file. And I already unzip. And here you have, if you have the CD, so you have, you can burn with the DVD, um, burn with the burn this CD or either use the USB, USB disk. So right click on it and after that just select the run as administrator and provide the path of your image. Just click on the browse and provide the path of your uh, higher boot CD image. You can also do the same thing with the USB drive and if you are just if you want to use with the USB, so just use the Rufus tool and you will find all the links in my video descriptions also. And after that, click on the start. And now after uh, your CD, you need to be boot in the BIOS and for BIOS, you need to be press the F2. It's a depend on your laptop manufacturer. So most of the time it's a F2 and here you need to be select the boot menu. So if you have CD drive, so select CD, otherwise you need to be select the USB. So I just want to do with the CD-ROM device. So I need to be select the CD-ROM. Otherwise, if you have the USB device option, so you have the, uh, you need to be select the USB device. And you need to be wait for the boot in the BIOS mode. So this one is the BIOS mode and this uh, I tried this one in with the on the Dell laptop and here you have the main advanced security power and boot option. So you navigate to the boot option and you need to be change the your first boot device option. By default it's a CD-ROM and if you wants to use the USB so you need to be enter here press enter here and you need to be select the USB or hard disk whatever option that he wants to use it you can use it from here so in my case i want to use the cd rom so i just need the cd rom and after that click on a and just tap on exist and just hit enter and enter y to save this one after that just press y and hit enter to save this one now it will be boot in the higher and boot CD. Higher and boot CD. Now here you need to be select the mini Windows XP program. Actually, it's a mini Windows XP, but it's not the Windows XP. It just looks like Windows XP. And you have here you have many tools also like MemTest and other tools are also there that you can try with the this CD. So in this for this uh, video, I'm just going to select mini, mini Windows XP. So select Windows XP and then after just hit enter. So it will take little bit time to just for loading. 
and after that it's a windows xp will like uh, wizard will be open but it's not windows xp don't be confused okay so now you here main uh, menu is open so now click on start and then after go to the programs and in programs just click on the program or either click on the hbcd hbcd menu or it's also there on the desktop so just click on the hbcd menu okay now click on the programs and here is a collection of lots of tools but you need to be click on the passwords and key and as you see in here you have lots of option but here you need to be select passwords key and windows login so click on the password c and windows login actually it's showing windows uh, nt vista 7 but it's also supported for the windows 10 also so just click on the this one option and now you need to be select your directory you need to be select your target so click on the select a target okay now it's going to show you the which drive that he wants to use so c is used for system reserve this one and d is the your main target where your windows is installed so select your drive and then after you need to be select the windows folder so just select the windows folder here and then after click on the ok so as you see in here in the right pane side now you have option to renew existing user password create new administrator user or turn existing user to administrator so we i just wants to renew my just reset my current winter password so i need to select the first option renew existing user password so just select that one and after that you need to be select your account that he wants to reset it so as you see in here i have my account rumi it tips so i need to be select my account rumi it tips and if you want to use other account so you can select this one so click this one rumi it tips and after that just enter the new password that he wants to reset it and after entering the password you need to be click on the apply and here you have all if you want to create new user you in administrator user you can create it and if you want to turn existing user to administrator you are also able to do that one but my intention is just to reset my current user forget password so after that click on apply <clears throat> and then after click on ok as you see in here my password is successfully resetted so now just click on the shutdown and remove Hiron boot cd or usb from your pc and then after you are easily able to log in with the, your new password in your windows 10 pc so as you see in here now if i am going to enter my new password i am able to log in on the windows 10 pc so Hiron boot cd is the really powerful tool that you must be try for lots of troubleshooting and i am going to make lots of videos on it so that you can easily help this cd will be help to you as you see in here i am able to log in and it it will take a little bit time and after that it will log in so hope you like my videos please visit my website and you will find all the article links and download link in my article link also and video description also